Hi everybody, this is Mark from Mark's Mandalas, and this video is going to show you how to assemble your hex hive storage organizer. Um, each one of these pieces is called a hex hive cell. I called it a cell because that is what um, each section in a beehive is called, and I just wanted to follow along with that theme. So when you hear me refer to a cell, it is in reference to one individual piece. And I'm going to go ahead and try to close, get a close up here of the hooks on how these parts interlock. And I want to show you when the hooks are facing this direction, you cannot connect them. So you need to turn one of the pieces over so that the hooks, let's see if I can get it so you can see those hooks are facing each other this way. And then once you have the right orientation, you want to slide them together. And I'm going to exaggerate the motion a little bit, but you're going to have to move around sometimes, rock it a little bit before you find the right spot. And there I have. And once you do that, then you want to slide it together. Um, if there's a little bit more resistance, this one slides together pretty easy. But if there are ones that are more difficult, um, I will take my thumbs and I'll push down to slide them together. And as you can see, now they're connected. And as you add more cells uh, to your storage organizer, you're going to be starting to use more hooks. So just these first two, you use one hook. On adding a third one, you're going to actually use two hooks. Um, you're going to connect on this hook here and this hook right here. And so I have my orientation of my hooks facing the right direction. And what I find works best, instead of trying to go into both of them at the same time, is I'll go in at an angle on just one of them. And it's just enough to kind of where I feel it started. And then I'll try to, there's a little bit of, of movement between these two. So you might have to move this just a little bit to get it to line up. And so I had this one started. And then I found the other one, and they're both started in there. And then I'm just going to slide that right on there. Um, another tip, you might find it easier to set it on, uh, on a work surface and to put them together. I'm going to take this one off of here again. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And, and I'm going to do it. on the work surface. And so now you can see how they're connected all together. And as you, I'm going to go ahead and zoom this back out again. And as you add more hex hive cells, um, you're going to uh, uh, be using more hooks. And some of these will actually have a cell connected by every hook. And um, it goes together with the honeycomb pattern, and the reason that it's done this way is for added strength. And I'm going to show you in another video on how to um, navigate through some of the hooks that have a tighter fit, because they're not all the exact same fit. Some are loose, some are, are a little bit uh, more firm, and other ones are too tight, actually, and you don't want to force um, a hook into another hook that is too tight. Um, and I'm going to show you in another video how you can very easily fix this problem. I hope this first video here on HexHive has uh, gotten you off to the, a good start. And until next time, rock on.